Okay, we're going to talk about converting a fraction to a percent. Okay, I've called one-half an easy problem. You need to know that one-half is 50%. You need to memorize that. It's easy because half a dollar is 50 cents, right? And one-half is 50%. That's what it means to have half of a cake. Okay, you also need to know, although it's harder, that one-third is 33%. Or to be accurate, 33.333 repeating percent, which sometimes we call 33 and one third percent. That's certainly what Larry or Bird would say. One third is 33 percent. Okay, so there's a bunch of ones that are easy that you simply should do no computation. You should just have memorized because you understand the topic. One quarter is 25 percent. Easy to remember because a quarter is 25 cents. Okay, so let's get past the easy ones, right? Medium ones, right, build on the easy ones. They just involve a little bit more calculation. If you know that one-third is 33%, and you've memorized that, then two-thirds is double, would be approximately 66, or to be accurate, 66.66 .66 repeating, right, forever percent. That's one that I call medium. The same way I might call three quarters, and I might say three quarters is equal to um, point is equal to 75 percent. In other words, with easy and medium, you really just have them in your head because you've been working with percents. With hard ones, you have to do long division. There's no way around it unless you have a calculator and you're allowed to use a calculator. Right? So you do your long division on two sevenths. And this is pretty cool because I've got this known in my head for many, many years. Two sevenths when you do long division is approximately two eight five seven one four. And I'm doing that without a calculator that's in my head, but I'm not telling you how. And once you know the decimal that's equal to two sevenths, here's what you do. You take the decimal point and you pick it up and you say, I'm going to change you from a decimal to a percent. Okay, you see that decimal point there? You say, hey, you, come with me. I'm moving you two to the right. Okay, so that when you move that two to the right, it becomes right over there. And now you have 28.57%, which nobody writes it as that ugly of a number. They would just write it as 28 or 28.57, or maybe they would round it off to 286 in other words, the whole point is picking up the decimal point and moving it two to the right. Okay, let's take another one with sevenths. All right, I happen to love sevenths, and I can't tell you why. All right, but I'm going to go, and I'm going to go ahead and put in, let me just go five sevenths. Okay, so you can go use your calculator, or you can do long division, and you will get five sevenths is equal to point, um, let me get this right, one, four, two, eight, five, seven, so it's going to be five, seven, one, four, two, eight, repeating. Again, I promise you, Boy Scouts Honor, I am not using a calculator. I got that number in my head. In fact, that's a repeating decimal. So if you did it out on a calculator, you'd find it, but then repeat, right, and say 57, 40, 18, 28 again. Okay, but we're off the subject. Five sevenths is equal to that as a decimal. You can round it down if you want. And then how do you change a decimal to a point to a percent? In other words, no one converts a fraction to a percent directly. You always go through the decimal. To change that decimal to a percent, you pick it up, you pick up the decimal point right over there, and you say, Come with me, and I'm gonna move you two to the right. And after you move it two to the right, now you say it's equal to 57.1%. In other words, you want to get into your head that percents and decimals are two ways of saying the same thing. 0.571 is the same as 57.1%, and that's the same as 5 sevenths. Okay, hope that helps.